Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Automaton. So, as you can see, um been a bit busy. I extended the downstairs because I needed somewhere to put all my storage drawers. There wasn't enough room upstairs. So I brought them all down. They're all connected. They're all locked now with a key, which was one of the request rewards. And this is the drawer key. And what you can do, you can either lock them or unlock them individually, right clicking with it, or, which I've discovered recently, if you right click on the actual um, drawer controller, it will lock everything. So for example, these two up here, they're empty, they're not locked. If I do, well, now I've done that, it's unlocked everything. But then if I right click again, it's now locked everything. And what that does, when you lock storage drawers, then that means that um, even if you, because once you take out everything out of the storage drawer, it won't remember what's in it. If you lock that storage drawer, even when you take out everything, it will still remember what's supposed to be there and it won't put in anything else. So not much point in locking empty drawers because that means you can't put anything in them. But it's very handy for when you've got things stored and you don't want them to, you know, you don't want them to forget what's in it. Also, um, I have been, I've been mining. Actually, I can't remember if I took everything out of here. After I set everything up, I realised I should have put these next to the storage drawer. I mean, it could have gone straight in, but never mind. I've been, been doing mining, so we've got tons more of redstone and lapis and other things as well. I um, I went ahead, oh, bit of lag, not sure what's wrong there. I went ahead and I made creosote oil. Oh, this is full. I've been making um, fluid tanks, mechanism fluid tanks. They're very, very cheap to make. And I've been so storing the creosote oil in there. I'll show you how you make those. You just need four bits of redstone and four iron ingots. And let's see if I remember the recipe. I think you put the redstone in the corners and the iron in a cross. Yep, and you get a basic fluid tank. It only holds 1400 miller buckets, but it's better than nothing. Because otherwise I would have to take them out bucket by bucket, which is annoying. Okay, so if I put the tank in the blue slot, which is input, or is it not full? Uh, no, it's not full, it's only 1200 miller buckets. So what it will do when it's full, it will drop down into the orange slot, the output slot, and then I can take it out and I can add it to my storage here. There is a, um, a larger mechanism tank, but that involves things that we don't have yet <laughs> and we need power, which is what we're going to be working on today. So that's that. Oh, and I've also been growing hemp seeds because I know that you need um, industrial hemp to make fiber in order to make the windmill in order to make power. So I started off with one seed and I've just been growing them up. Um, while I've been going around the world, I've been finding bone block skeletons and I really should have marked one so that I could show you but I didn't think about it at the time and I've been mining them so I can get bone meal so I've been growing up my hemp seeds and I think that's it really so let's get on with today's episode so what I want to do today I went ahead and did the treated wood, which is quite simple. Basically, I can make some more just to show you. Do I have my buckets on me? No, they are back in the house. I found a lot of item item frames lying around in one of the ruins. So I went and picked them up and I just store things in them. Right, so we need a bucket. We need some planks. There's 
four, five, six, seven, eight. And all right, we need the bucket of creosote oil. And then in the crafting table, you put the creosote oil, put the planks around it like that, and you get eight treated planks and you get back your bucket. So it's as simple as that. So I went ahead and I made a stack of treated planks here. So that got me that quest. So let's pick a loot chest, claim that. Um, next thing, still production. We don't want to do that yet. I think, well, not I think, I know what we need to do is windy power. So your first step in making power is the windmill, which will passively generate power using the wind. You will also need a kinetic dynamo to connect your windmill so that the power can be extracted from the windmill. So we need to make a windmill and we get a kinetic dynamo. Okay, so what do we need to make a windmill? Ah, windmill. We need eight windmill blades and a block of, and a iron ingot. So a windmill blade is three treated planks and four treated sticks. Okay, I wonder if you can make the treated sticks like you do the planks. Okay, you can only do it, you can only do it by, okay. I was kind of hoping, I wonder if you can do that anyway, if you can just put sticks and put creosote around it, or put sticks around the bucket of creosote. That's worth looking at. That's two, I think. Do you pick up two? Yes. Let's go and check that out because that would make sense. If you can make treated planks, hello, Cal. If you can make treated planks by, you know, by putting planks around creosote. Let's have a look. Uh, creos no, we need to make the sticks first. I know, but I need more than more than four sticks. I need eight more sticks. Quick, tree. I need a tree. Before the sun goes down. I think I've successfully killed everybody in the village. When I last looked... Oh, there's one old guy. I think he's trapped in a house. Which is why he's not dead. But everybody's dead. Despite my best efforts, everybody has succumbed to the undead horde. That is Minecraft. So, um, so yeah, so we're living in a dead village, but that's okay. Right, so we've got four more sticks, that's eight. Put it round in a circle. Put the creosote, no. Okay, it was worth a try. Right, it's getting dark. Let's go inside and continue. Because I really don't feel like battling with everybody while while I do this. Okay, what are we doing? We're making, we need to make windmills. Okay, so I take eight, turn those into sticks. And then you need a windmill blade Right, you can't shift click into that. That's the only thing I don't like. One more blade is that. We can get four. And how many do we need for a windmill? One, two, three. We need eight. Okay. And is that eight? We have eight. And we need a piece of iron, put that in the middle, put the blades all around it, and we have a windmill. Voila! Uh, so then we get a kinetic dynamo. Okay, windy air power. Um, by making sails from hemp fibres, we can upgrade the windmill to produce more power. 
Just right click the sails onto the centre hub of your windmill to install the sails. Okay, I think we need to put up the windmill first. So, oh, but do I have to make... Okay. Moving power. Okay. And is there anything in the book that tells you how to put up your windmill? Um, power. Power generation. Uh, that's a kinetic dynamo, so usually you need a copper coil block, redstone and iron to make the kinetic dynamo, but we've got that from our, our reward. And... Okay. Water wheels. Windmill. The windmill is free and easy way of generating power, albeit not a very powerful one. Its speed depends on the space in front of it, with its kinetic output greatly greatly reduced if the airflow is obscured. Additionally, if weather conditions like rain or thunderstorms result in stronger winds, oh, conditions like rain or thunderstorms result in stronger winds and increased rotation speeds. Okay, so does it not tell you how to do it? Okay. I seem to remember you need to put the the windmill up quite high so that it would it would produce more wind. That is my bedroom. I've moved everything down now. And I've got a dog. I found a dog. I have to name him. I think we might do that later. I'm not sure what I'll name him. Oh, the lag. I don't know what's going on with that. Right, let's go to sleep and let's see if we can put up our windmill. Um, yeah. The book isn't saying very much. It's not as useful as it was with the coke oven. I think I'm going to go and have a little look and see if I can find something that will help me. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've been having a look. I haven't really found anything that goes through like the just building it. They're explaining what it means and so on, but I haven't seen anyone build it. But we'll, we'll do this together. We just need... Let's see, let's make it look like the trees outside. We've got 117, 173. Let's just go and take one of the trees and... Oh! Incoming. There you go. Thank you for your chest plate. It's probably not going to be very good, but thank you anyway. Let's see, if we build it up here... Is that going to be too far from the house? Because you've got to run wires. That's the only thing. Hmm. Let's build it down here, a bit closer to the house, so you don't have wires going too far. And let's go and get these trees. Because I've kind of chopped down all the trees in order to, you know, fill, fix up the house and stuff. So let's get these. All right, so yeah, I know you need at least seven blocks of clearance. Um, uh, uh, seven blocks around, so like 15 blocks. At least seven blocks from the ground and seven blocks either side in order to get your clearance for the windmill. Okay, let me see where's... we've got 19. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we've got the windmill blades. So I'm guessing we go out and stick it on. Oh, it's all done and it's turning. And hopefully I won't kill myself. Oh, that hurt. Let's go have a look. Yes. That is awesome. We did it. And we got an achievement. I didn't even look to see what it was. 
Okay, so that's going. And what was the next thing? It said we had to make sales. Um, back. By making sales from hemp fibres, we can upgrade the windmill to produce more power. Just right click the sails onto the center hub of your windmill to install the sail. So we need eight windmill sails. And those are tough fabric. You see one, two, three, four, five, six tough fabric would give you one sail. And tough fabric is hemp around a stick. Okay, well I have been growing hemp like crazy. Let's take out a stack of hemp. Did I put any sticks in here? No, I didn't. But I have sticks in my inventory. Okay, stick. I probably should have put more sticks. That's only eight. And then to make the sail, okay, so we need eight of those. Let's get a couple more stacks of that. And do I have, those are treated. I really should have a, a stick drawer because we need loads of sticks. Did it just put that in or did I just, I don't know what I just did. Oh, I did make it. A bit too quick off the draw there. <laughs> I wasn't aware of what I was doing. So put that there, put those all the way around. That gets me six, that's 10. 18 that's four as you can probably guess my math is terrible so I'm not even bothering to try and work out how many we need put 20 there and Sixteen, two. Ah, let's go harvest some hemp fibers. Takes a lot of hemp. I remember reading. I remember seeing it took a lot of hemp, but I don't think I quite appreciated just how much hemp it took. Okay, how many do we have there? It's not on the hot bar, I can't see it. 35. We need at least a stack. And let's go on this side. But once we start producing power, it will be fine. It's just to get that initial hit, which is the problem. you get all the fibers you probably have enough now although hitting these things it's kind of therapeutic oh I think I just yeah I just killed it I forgot don't jump on farmland all right we have at least a stack which is fine so you go in how many more do we need? Oh. Need some more sticks. Um, right. Split those, make the sticks. Sticks in the middle. Hemp around it. Windmill sails. Is that eight? Yes, it's eight. 
so then to make this and then it said we need to oh, okay and then it said just right click the sails onto the center hub of your windmill to install the sails all right let's get some dirt And even though it looks like it will hurt you, I don't think it does. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's the sails. Right click? No? One at a time? Oh, that was shift clicking. Is that it? That's it, and it started to move a little bit faster. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, that's moving pretty fast. And grab a loot chest. And now we need to move the power from our windmills to the machines that need it. Immersive engineering adds three tiers of wires, connectors and relays. LV or low voltage can carry up to 2048 RF per tick. But the connectors are limited to 256 RF per tick in and out. And you've got medium voltage and high voltage. Where power enters and exits a network of wires, you need a connector. Since wires have a distant limit, distance limit, you'll also need relays to extend that range as well as any point you want to connect multiple connectors to a single point, since connectors can only have one wire connection. To make everything look nice, there are posts and wall mounts you can craft to attach connectors, like real power lines. So we need one LV coil, one LV wire connector, and one LV relay. Oh. Okay, so how... I'm not sure how you use the kinetic dynamo. I'll have to... Well, anyhow, let's make the stuff that we need, and then we can go back and have a look. So, LV, need wire coils, insulated, you need wool for that, don't you? Oh, tough fabric. Yep, I need to get, I need to, I, I need, I probably need to have whole fields of hemp. Let's put those away. But obviously I will just do that, I do that in between time. Okay, so LV wire coil, copper wire, and a stick. Copper wire, oh, we need engineer's cutters. Okay, or shears. Well, let's make the engineer's cut cutters. So two sticks and an iron. Iron, iron, oh dear. One and two sticks. Do we have any sticks left? We do. Two sticks and iron, no? There you go. Oh, does this have the engineer's toolbox? I seem to remember that from the recesses of my mind. Aluminum plate. Uh, do we have any aluminium? Which is bauxite, I can't remember. As osmium, as nickel, tin, silver. I don't remember doing any bauxite. Do I have a random chest left? As wub ingots. Um, no, I don't remember. Or is, is aluminium a, a mix? I don't recall coming across any bauxite. But I could be wrong. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a mix. Uh, aluminium. Smelting. Bauxite ore. Cob 
cobblestone and power. No, cobblestone and aluminium brick can give you box like all. Okay. All right. Well, we don't need the toolbox right now. We need some copper. Is that copper? Yes. But that would explain why copper is so plentiful in this world. Because you need loads of it. Um, LV wire. So that. Oh, I need a plate. How do I make? Oh, I need the hammer. Where did I put my engineer's hammer? There it is. Alright, let's do that. And my hammer. Does that have durability? No, it doesn't. Oh, yes, it does. And then that. And the plate. It should give me eight wires. Okay. So I'll take that out. And we need sticks. And was it in a four? Yes. So we have eight LV copper wires. What else do we need? LV wire connector. A wire connector, three copper, and two and four terracotta. I have clay. Two. Did I take out 12? No. That'd be three. I need 16. Okay, turn those into blocks. And then we'll put those into smelt. No. Doesn't need to be blended, just smelted. Okay, that's that done. And let's go back to our crafting table. Oh, I need three copper. Two, three. Alright, so we've got the connectors and um, one wire relay. Is that what I just made? Why is it not? Oh, there you go. One wire relay. Relay. Two copper and two terracotta. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Okay. Blend you up, put you in, and make you up. And there's our relays. And get the loot chest. Claim. Um, storing power. All right, we don't need to worry about that yet. But we're now moving power. Oh, and then we can get into the the cloches and stuff, which is what we need. But anyway, let's have a look at our loot chests. Um, still mechanical component. I have no idea what that is, but it must be good. Oh, two speed upgrades, two efficiency upgrades. That's good. Didn't we get another loot crate? Yes, we did. And a diamond wand. That's good. I could always do with a diamond wand. They're so useful. Even though I have one, but some of the durability is gone, so when that's finished, I'll use it again. So, let's just put these in our chest here. Oh, I took out stuff to make a name tag for the dog. Um, you know what? I know what I'm going to name him. I've been thinking about it. I'm going to name him Odie, because I like the Garfield comics. Um, put 
put that in. Odie. Let's go name our dog. I thought that was a creeper inside the house. <laughs> Oh no, click the bed. That's not what I meant to do. Look at the dog, look at the dog. There you go, Odie. Well done. So, we've named our dog. We've built a windmill, so we've now got power being generated. Oh, look at all the zombies burning. Isn't that wonderful? Just what you want to see, burning zombies. And we took our steps, first steps, into generating power. So that's it for this episode. Please like, comment and subscribe for more great content. It will help to grow my channel. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.